Hello everyone, welcome to the session on syntax tree generation and three address code. These are the part of the compiler generation things uh, which are used for intermediate code generation. In the earlier video, we have seen the types of intermediate code generation. So, out of that, we, we will see now syntax tree generation and the three address code. The learning outcomes of this session are you will be able to construct the syntax tree using a given data structure. We will be uh, going to see that how the data structure is implemented and all. Then you will be able to write the three address code statements for a given statement using the various types of three address code. <coughs> Consider the syntax tree. Uh, this, uh, this statement is given here A assigns to B multiplied by minus C plus B multiplied by minus C and the syntax tree generated for this one. Now, in this one usually for a syntax tree always the leaf nodes are representing the operands and the internal nodes, intermediate nodes are representing the operation, the operation with one or two operands. If it is having a binary operation, two operands, then the left and the right nodes are representing the operand 1 and operand 2 respectively or else if it is a unary operation, then a single node is representing its operand. You can see here unary minus is representing only one operand and the multiplication operator is representing the two operands here. <coughs> now, what are the rules for syntax tree generation? See the productions, the grammar rules are given like this here. If a particular statement or a production is providing that S start symbol is providing ID or ID assigns to E, then it is implemented by the semantic rule like S point. Now, uh, the pointer which is equal to make node, it is calling a function here make node which is creating the node of it. And what kind of node it is uh, creating? It is creating a node of assign where the left side is the leaf node and right side is again a pointer. So, you can see here that this is the statement id assigns to e. So, for id it is generating the leaf node and for e it is just writing the pointer of it. Similarly, e assigns to e1 plus e2 for this one. So, the left side is a pointer. So, that pointer is equal to it is generating the nodes of it. Uh, now, there are two nodes, one is uh, the operator is plus operator and left node is E1 and uh, right node is E2. So, accordingly the pointers are assigned. Similarly, for multiplication, now for unary minus, unary 1 uh, minus E1, it is, it is creating the no node for it and uh, that node it is having the U minus. <coughs> now, the last one that is E producing ID, now in this case, it is just generating the identifier. So, that is what identifier is nothing but the leaf node. So, it is generating the leaf node for this one. Let us see properly. So, consider the first statement here, the production rule and the semantic rule that S producing ID assigns to E. In this case, now it is calling a make node function where assign is the node. So, here assignment is the node which is generated at the left side it has generated it has called make leaf so for id it has created the leaf node and e as it is pointer so it is again a node it is not a leaf node left node in this case is created by this make lo make leaf similarly for this statement e1 plus e2 now here no leaf nodes are there these are already the internal nodes so the nodes are already created like e1 and e2 only the node plus is created and the pointer of E1 and pointer of E2 are assigned at left and right nodes that is provided by this particular function. Similarly, for multiplication, so a node is created for multiplication and the pointer of left node E1 is assigned here and the right node E2 is assigned here which is already created. It may be a leaf node, it may be an internal node. Now, Talking about the three address code, what do you mean by three address code? Usually, three all of us are knowing that three address code is a one of the form of the intermediate code. As it is one of the form of the intermediate code, it is near to the, you can say a system or a machine. So, therefore, it is close to the assembly language and it is used for generating the machine code. So, 
is it makes easier for the code generator to generate the machine code if we are using the three address code statements. So, the format of three address code statement is x assigns to y operand, operator and another operand. So, here now this is the assignment statement you can say where what wherever the result is stored and the two oper operands are there and the operator is specified in the middle that is the three address code. Let us see here some example. The example statement is provided like x plus y multiplied by z. So, in this case the three address code generated for this is according to the precedence of operations here the first operation it is executing is y multiplied by z. So, for this one it is taking a temporary value here. So, temporary 1 temporary variable 1 is equal to assigns to y multiplied by z that is the first operation which it is evaluating. Similarly, the next operation that is the temporary 2 is created for a complete whole expression where x plus the whatever this expression result is there which is stored in T1 that is used here. So, this is a 3 address code for the statement x plus y multiplied by z. It is using the two temporaries T1 and T2. Now, see here for whenever we are convert, we are taking the syntax tree here, how it is associating the temporary variables here. You can see the uh, syntax tree that is x plus this is multiplied by y and z. The same statement x plus y multiplied by z the syntax tree for this is generated. And how the temporary values are taken, temporary variables are taken? Usually the temporary variables are created by every internal node of a tree. So, this is the internal node here. So, that is for multiplication operation temporary 1 is created and for plus operation temporary 2 is created in this one. You can see that this syntax tree is converted with this statement. So, you may say that this tree part of the tree node is created as one three address code and another part is created and an another three address code. Let us see here few examples that is A assigns to minus C now one of the statement here which is provided as minus C multiplied by B plus minus C multiplied by D. So, in this case what will happen is first it will it will take the unary operation then the multiplication of it with uh, this one and then it goes on. So, according to the precedence of operation according to the tree generation you can say this is the three address code statement which it is generating and you can see here that it is using five temporary variables for uh, for this particular statement. So, finally, you can see that the six three address code statements are generated for this particular statement. Now, in a, another example here we are providing with the bracket implementations x plus y multiplied by y plus z plus x plus y plus z. Now, in this case again the five temporary variables are used. So, x plus y, y plus z. Now, this one is converted. So, usually what will happen is in the three address code example generation the statement is converted into the postfix notation and that postfix notation is used here for the rest of the things. So, this is the three address code generation you can see here properly. Now, similarly consider a, a particular programming statement that is for uh, i equal to 1 i less than 10 the, that, that is a general problem statement programming statement uh, this one. So, how this is converted as a three address code example here it is given. Okay. You can just see here because later on when we will see the types of three address code statements you will understand better. What it is doing in this one? In this case it is usually assigning the i equal to 1 the initial one and then it is taking this whatever this particular operation is there. So, i equal to 1 after that this one as x multiplied by y. So, that is taken as a temporary one and again that address. So, this final thing this whatever this x multiplied by uh, 5 uh, address of a and size of this is there. This is totally the calculation of a of i. So, that one it has taken and then again it moves on for further statements. So, this is the three address code uh, statement which is generated for this particular for statement. Now, pause the video and write the three address code for the following expression 
the expression is a simple arithmetic expression you can pause the video here and you can write by your own the three address code statements let us see how many three address code statements are generated for this now see in this one this is the solution for this and this many total seven temporary variables are used for this one so this is the solution for that particular statement now let us talk about the types of three address statements how many types are there we will see one by one so the first type is assignment type one where it is a binary operation x assigns to y operator z now in this case x y and z are the addresses assignment operator two the, now in this case it is a unary operation so only one operator and operand is used this is a copy instruction simple x assigns to y next comes unconditional statement go to l it is just a simple unconditional statement so go to and the label is used here conditional jump if it is there then if is the keyword used then x relational operator y and go to the uh, label is and what is the relational operator the relational operator may be less than equal to greater than equal to or whatever the relational operators we are using but finally this is the three address code statement for it for parameter calling uh, we'll see that parameter x and call p comma n what is p these are the parameters and n is the number of the parameters so if this is the case it is for the function call in this case it is converted like this all the parameters are declared here and then it is calling next comes index assignment in this one it is uh, x assigns to y of i or x of i assigns to y so this is a simple indexing and address and pointer assignments these are the three address code statements simply address operator pointer operator and value assigning the value to it these are the references thank you